Thank you for taking a few minutes to view this short presentation about our company, Exfuse. My name is Don Cotton and I'm the CEO and co-founder. My professional experience prior to co-founding Exfuse is in traditional business. I've been fortunate enough to start several new business groups for the companies I've served. And you know, I found that so much of what determines the success in our lives is based on having the simple chance and then the willingness and courage to seize the opportunity for great timing. And for me, it was no different. You see, I recognized the obvious just before it became obvious to everyone. The Bill Gates was right, that the personal computer was about to go mainstream, and in business, the age of the file cabinet and the old mainframe computing was about to change. I thought I could do anything if I tried hard enough, and so I, I naively bought myself a, a library of programming books and through brute force taught myself how to program computers. But I got started literally at the dawn of the internet age. I was never tired. It was one of the hardest things that I've ever done in my life, but I recognized the value of hard work and perseverance, and I made my hopes and dreams a reality. And after a few years, I was working at Microsoft, and then as a Chief Information Officer at General Motors, and the rest is history. The story of Xtrees really starts about the same time. While I was burning the midnight oil teaching myself to program computers, my brother Rick was serving the church working as a missionary and having his life impacted in Latin America. In that time, he experienced firsthand and personally the extreme poverty that far too many of the children in this country suffered. I'll never forget the day when he told me all those years ago that he believed that one day he would start a billion dollar company which would give its first fruits back to help these kids who are so sorely needed. And here we are these decades later, and Xfuse is well on its way toward realizing that vision. You see, since the launch of our company almost seven years ago, we've contributed 1% of every single dollar of every single product sold to the kids who were making an effort to help. And for those of you who are in business, you know that 1% of gross sales equates to three, four, or even 5% of net profit. We've been doing this, we've been giving this money away long before we ever made the first cent of net profit. Because Viva Kids isn't just another marketing vehicle that an MLM started to have a feel good component to their company. It's real, it's part of the DNA of who we are as a company. It feeds, clothes, and provides medical, and education to hundreds of kids each and every single day. And many of our distributors have been down there to participate in that. Guys, timing is a tricky thing. Just like I had really good timing all those years ago when I got into the computer field just before the dawn of a revolution in computing, I believe your opportunity for timing could be right now. You see, people, people oftentimes come to our office and they meet our team and they tell me things like, it's so refreshing to be in a corporate office with a group of people who have such joy and faith in their company, or to be with people who treat their distributors as equal. And while I appreciate those comments, to be honest, we don't know how to do this any other way. Not having grown up in the MLM world until really seven years ago, what I do understand is I understand culture. The culture always begins with good people who truly and really care. My philosophy has been to hire smart, energetic, ethical people who display good values. We keep doing that over and over again and we get better at it each year. Xfuse has a corporate team that I am very, very proud of. Folks like fellow founder Paul Morris, who is a highly respected, dare I say, almost iconic 40-year veteran of the direct sales industry, Wall Street veteran and Chief Financial Officer Michael Seymour. These are good folks and they will walk with you and be there to help you be successful with our company. I believe that you reap what you sow in this life and we try to do the best that we can every single day. We attract like-minded people, quality folks who are high-level achievers. Exodus will continue to lead by example. In our seven-year time frame, we've only terminated one person in North America for cause. One person. By comparison, a large MLM terminated 80 directors in the organization just last month. And Exodus has launched an industry for something whose time I think has come, a distributor bill of rights for our people. This document is a statement and protection to you and the folks you recruit about Xfuse, always treating our people fairly, predictably, and with integrity. This is a bold step, the one whose time has come in an industry that is far too often rife with disingenuous actions. We will lead and we'll make this business transparent by example. As we enter our seventh year, we're approaching $50 million in sales and our best is without question ahead of us. We're not a startup opportunity that will be gone in five years. I ask you, how many of you guys have jumped to a company to plant your flag and had that company either pull the rug out from underneath you or be 
be out of business the next year. After you've used your hard-earned credibility, your good word to convince folks to join you. Many companies started with nothing more than a comp plan, and then a skilled marketer finds a product that's high to that comp plan that sounds unique and exclusive. Not so at XPs. Like Viva Kids, a product story is also very personal and based on a very real event in my family's life. <laughs> About 10 years ago, my brothers and I got a phone call telling us that our father was very sick and that he had, he had fallen into a coma. Our family members, hereditarily, we sometimes suffer from hemochromis, hemochromatosis, and it's a, it's a hereditary liver disease. And sadly, my dad had that gene, and he ended up with a debilitating disease, and it, it breaks down your liver's ability to function and do his job effectively. The doctor recommended that we get home immediately to say goodbye to him. When we got there, the doctor told us it was unlikely that he would even survive the night, and that we should say goodbye to him, saying anything to him that was on our hearts. In short, he was saying, say goodbye to your dad. And so we bid him a tearful farewell. But my dad, being a tough old guy, survived the night and then the week. And he actually came out of his coma, but he, he was very ill. And I'll never forget the phone call when Rick told me he heard of this practitioner who was having tremendous results with terminal patients using all sorts of alternative treatments. And I have to understand that back then, while I was competitively racing mountain bikes and was a healthy person, I knew fish oil omegas and multivitamins and stuff like that were good for me. I was pretty ignorant of what science then called alternative or Eastern medicine. I suppose it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's still called that, but, but even modern medicine is starting to recognize the value in some of these more Eastern traditional treatments. My brother told me that the primary form of treatment would be through this variety, very diet of uh, strange berries and botanicals, and it would even include things like algae and mushrooms. He was calling me as well to see if I'd pitch in because it was expected to cost uh, about $1,500 a month. It wasn't cheap, but it was our dad, and I was blessed at the time to have the income necessary to help make this happen for him. It was about 90 days, and the transformation of my father was, uh, it was, it was incredible. He, he started calling me about that time, and he'd actually get really nervous. It was funny watching my father. He'd get really nervous if his noni or his brown seaweed extract would run out. And it was funny hearing him talk like that, but it was also incredible hearing him sound like himself again. Because you see, when he went to the doctors, they were amazed how quickly his liver had begun regenerating itself. And I would say my dad got back to probably like 95% of you know what he was before his liver started failing him. And it really seemed to be entirely based on the consumption of these crazy, wonderful extracts and juices. I'll never forget asking the practitioner why this was the group of things, this myriad of things that he gave him, or what he chose. At the time, I had no knowledge of phytonutrients, or as he called them back then to me, he called them, uh, he called them micronutrients. He explained to me that the micronutrient field was just starting to be understood by traditional or Western science, but it was something that the, the Eastern and, and tribal and many indigenous cultures had inherently known for generations. In fact, many superfoods held a special place in the cultures of these indigenous people for the incredible efficacy and health benefits they gave to their tribal families. As an example, I'm sure many of you guys are probably familiar with resveratrol. It's a micronutrient, as they're now called, or a phytochemical, a nutrient that's found uh, oftentimes in red wine, which has gotten a ton of mainstream attention in, in recent years. In fact, you know, suddenly there's all the red wine lovers are happy. But, you know, there's literally thousands more of these compounds that are found in food products. And, and the, exa the exotic botanicals and things that my father had gotten all those years ago. My dad's practitioner told me way back then that you just never know which nutrient your body is really needing, what it's really craving. And so with my dad, he, he put him on, he put him on all many of these extracts and juices, literally to give him thousands of those phytonutrients. And his transformation was incredible. And for me, it opened a whole new world of possibilities. That experience allowed my children to know and have meaning, meaningful memories for their grandfather. And, and for that, I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful. Now, I tend to be a person who, when confronted with something that I find exciting, I learn as much as quickly as I can. It was how I taught myself to program computers those 20 years ago. And these exotic foods, these things like noni and acai and brown seaweed, they captured my imagination because of what my dad had experienced. And I learned all I could about them over the next several months. And when Rick approached me about the two of us starting a company, about realizing that dream that he had all those years ago, we knew that the timing was right. And we had something special, something the world needed to hear about. 
As we fast forward to where the company is today, I want you to understand that Xmuse has been strategically launched to participate in not just one, but several of the fastest growing market segments. We're not just a single product company. We have products across several verticals. We are well positioned as a global health and wellness company. Let's dive into the market opportunity for just a second. We know that weight loss is a huge market. It's projected to reach $134 billion by 2014. It's a massive market. Energy and activity, this is projected to reach $92 billion by the end of 2013. Probably the fastest growing market in the segments. And of course, longevity, anti-aging. We all want to we all want to live longer, we want to feel good doing it. That's projected to reach $292 billion by 2015. People are taking their health into their own hands. It continues to grow at an astonishing pace. So whether you're passionate about any one of these segments or all three, there's a great opportunity here for everybody. From the earliest days at Xfuse, we wanted to manage our growth and expand smart and effectively. We knew that six plus years ago, the Asian markets would be much more amenable to our products. The adoption rate for natural products or alternative, as they're mostly known back then, was much higher in Southeast Asia, and we firmly established our presence there. You see, when Xfuse launched as a country, we don't consider not for resale an opening. Many of you know and have seen them. The companies with just-in-time shipping, flying under the radar type of processes, kind of hoping they don't get caught, yet claiming the country's open. That's not the way we do it here. Well, every country we're open in, we have established offices, logistics. We have them in Japan, Malaysia, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Australia, New Zealand, and Thailand. Each country has employees, country managers, presentation rooms, and all of the things you'd hope for and let be expect from a direct sales company doing business in another country. I believe this about timing. The timing is the ability to see the obvious before it happens. Imagine if you had been there in 1958 when Rich DeVos and Jay Van Endel had recruited their first distributors into Amway. It seems obvious now with how big they've become or how many millionaires they've created. Or what if you had been the person who applied for literally any position at Microsoft in 1978? We, we now know that even the secretary is worth millions of dollars who was part of Microsoft those first half dozen years. There are no guarantees, but success leaves clues, just as it did with these two companies all those years ago. At Xfuse, the heart of our origins with Viva Kids is part of who we are. And our product mission is strong and it is unwavering. Our commitment to the field is the strongest of any company as evidenced by our strong position with the introduction of the first distributor bill of rights. With a compensation plan that is aggressive in its ways to earn, and in fact, committed guaranteed ways to earn, it's second to none. Xfuse is seeing some of the fastest growth we've ever seen. Granted, it's early in our reverse loss strategy, but leaders have responded. They perhaps see the obvious before it becomes the obvious. I invite you to be part of our family, to get with the person who told you about Xfuse and be a part of our mission to change lives. Tomorrow can be your first day of something great. Let's set a new standard.